Okay, get into bed, old lady. No one wants to see your little butt. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Hey guys, it's Amy and welcome to this new video. Today we are playing Two Point Hospital and I'm so super excited to play this because it's basically a remake of the Sega Classic Theme Hospital which I used to love ever so muchly so I'm really excited to go and check it out so let's do it. So here we are in our very first hospital and as you can see it is completely empty so we need to fill this place with doctors, with with nurses, with patients, and all of that kind of jazz. Now, the first thing we need to do is build a reception. So let's go ahead and do that. And there is our reception desk. Now, the next thing we need to do is hire an assistant. Now, the assistants should be under the hire button right here. We have doctors, nurses, assistants, and janitors. So let's go on assistants and see who would be the very best assistant for the job. And I'm kind of thinking maybe Annabelle Corruption uh, could be the best for the job. So let's go ahead and hire her and sit her down on the reception desk. All right, now the next thing we need to do is build a doctor's office. Now that sounds like fun. Now I'm thinking this little corner right here would be a great place for the GP's office. So let's click on room and click on the GP's office and now we get to drag this out and see how big we want the office. I think that is a pretty good size. Now let's add a door, perfect. And then maybe let's put a little desk over here and there's a filing cabinet as well. That looks pretty good. Awesome. Now we get to hire a doctor. Okay, we have Olivia Bolognese. We have Lance Underdriver and Noel Pigmento. What fantastic names they are indeed. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead um, and click on... Let's do Lance Underdriver today. Wicked. All right, now you sit there, sir. Look at him floating around there. <laughs> All right, that is way too much fun. All righty then. So we have hired our doctor. Good news, our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. And we have diagnosed our very first patient. Awesome. Okay, now it says we need to build a pharmacy. We have discovered a new illness, so we need to get that all medicated. All right, wicked. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a pharmacy. More patients are arriving. This is awesome. Okay, so we've built our pharmacy and now we need to hire ourselves a nurse. Okay, let's go for um, Kelly Curves. Okay, nurse, give our little patient here some medication. What's going on? What kind of machine is this? I don't know. Oh, it's spinning! <laughs> Wicked. You know what? We need some chairs out here for all of our little patients because they're just kind of standing up. Uh, so let's have a look and see if there's any in items. We have uh, benches. Here we go. Okay. So let's put a few benches around here and make our hospital look really nice. Awesome. You know what? We may need to build another GP office as well. Oh, look, we have cured our first patient. Wicked. Well done. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Awesome! We are doing great, you guys. Okay, we need to hire ourselves a janitor. So let's go on over here and 
<laughs> Let's hire Lola Eggnog. I mean, who came up with these names? It's amazing. Let's make a spin as well. Whoa! I dig it. All right, you chill over there, Lola. Um, wait, is that trash in the doctor's office? That is so super gross, dude. What are you doing? Pick up after yourself. Uh, okay, so the next task we have is to place two fire extinguishers. And I'm guessing there they are. They are in the item thingamajiggy. All right, so where can we put our fire extinguishers? Maybe let's put one on this wall here and then maybe over on this wall as well. Perfect. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat when they're in between appointments. If they become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so what could we add? Um, place some items to make a nice waiting area for patients. Alrighty then, so let's place a leaflet stand. What if we made this little corner area like really, really funky and really cool for our patients? Look how happy this chappy is! Do you reckon he got cured? <laughs> he loves it anyway. Uh, so let's put uh, the leaflet thingamajiggy there. Um, and we need to put a drinks machine and a snack machine nearby as well. So let's get ourselves a drink machine. And there is our snack machine. Perfect. All right, let's put a few more benches around as well. And let's put some lovely plants around the place. Brilliant. Oh my goodness, look at the janitor. She is like hitting the heck out of that machine. The nurse looks petrified. Okay, so the next task we have is to build a staff room. That sounds fun. So let's go on over here and click on this and let's put our staff room um, maybe out of the way a little bit. Maybe like over this area. I think this could be a good place for a staff room. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break ends. You can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break or in a work room to make them work there. To pick up a member of staff, hover over them and hold the left mouse button. All right, now that sounds like fun. Oh, I've got her. Okay, now let's give our little janitor a break. There you go, lady. Okay, so now we have to build a toilet and place two bins. Alrighty then, so where should we put our bathroom? Uh, maybe, uh, let's maybe build it in this corner here. I think our bathroom looks pretty cool, just saying. I've placed one trash can in the bathroom, but maybe we should have another one around the hospital, um, just to stop people littering. And there's our little trash can. Further diagnosis, we're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. Alrighty then, so we need to build a diagnosis room. So we need to hire a nurse for our new diagnosis room. Let's go ahead and hire Orlando Sandals and pop him in here. Awesome. We might need a few more benches along the place as well. So let's get that done too. So we have just built a ward as well. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. So we need to put another nurse in the ward. Harry Bullfrog, you're hired. Look at the janitor, she's going crazy again. Look at her go. <laughs> she is mad. Oh, there's an old lady's butt. What's that all about? Oh no. Get into bed, old lady. No one wants to see your little butt. So I think our hospital is running pretty smoothly. But wait a minute, what's this? Why are there light bulb heads here? <laughs> what kind of illness is that? That's amazing. Okay, well, it says that I need to cure three patients with lightheadedness. I'm guessing that's what these poor people have. Belinda Crusts, you are hired. Now we built ourselves a deluxe clinic. Now this should help cure our patients of lightheadedness. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Wicked! I love this game! 
And look how happy he is to have his own head back. <laughs> Loves it. Oh, and another light bulb head is on his way to be cured. Look, they have his head too. How cool is that? <laughs> what happened to that little old lady and her little bum? Uh, did she leave? You guys, I just saw my receptionist fall asleep. I think we need to hire another receptionist so that this one can have a break. Uh, <laughs> Aaron Butter. <laughs> Let's hire Mr. Butter. All right, Mr. Butter, do you go over there? And then let's pick up this lady, make her spin, and pop her into the staff room. There we go, lady. Now chill out, all right? Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Oh, another light bulb man is going to get his head put back on. Ooh, now that's got to hurt, right? And there's his head. How did his head get in there in the first place? I don't even know. Oh, look, we've got a letter. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Well, that sounds encouraging, doesn't it? Fantastic. Oh no, this light bulb head looks very, very unwell. I'm hoping we can cure this one soon. But look how happy this dude is. <laughs> I dig it. Well, that's all the time we have for this video, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm going to leave you a link in the description to go and check this game out. It is a lot of fun and I cannot wait to do the next episode. Don't forget to check out www.amily33.co.uk for some some wicked cool merchandise also please give this video a big thumbs up i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video good